of low-key depressed nerds. I don't know who that is. Um, but what is up, people? Fang coming all the way from the city. You know, my native land. Uh, no, I was kidding. I came from Xeno today to... Uh, Let's go see your native land. What? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to wish... Uh, I wanted to wish everyone a happy goodbye. You know, this last revolution. And we have we have Ricky G versus Sony, classic matchup we see here on the island. Uh, I don't know who traditionally has the edge, but I know Kyle has had a little bit of a DK problem recently. At least he lost to uh, DK Will last time I remember. Yeah, Donkey Kong is troublesome, you know. Just that one grab, and you know, it'd be uh, it'd be curtains for you. Very very stressful at times. Ricky, oh my God, you see it's, that aggressive damage? Yeah, right? exactly. The thing is, he, DK can outspace Ike uh, quite a bit with that back air, and also just really take him to town off stage. And Ricky loves taking people off stage. Just very aggressive in that sense. And right now, Ricky's is standing. I could present. Ike definitely did not present. That's ding dong. Kill. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the hard part about this matchup. There's such a huge ding dong window for uh, Donkey Kong to really hit on Ike. And if Sone gets grabbed, he's pretty much he's getting pooped on. Yeah, and Ricky G obviously very knowledgeable about that ding dong window. The thing about Ricky is that when you talk to him, not just about his DK knowledge, his game knowledge is incredibly. Yeah, strong. it's really good. Uh, I'd also like to <laughs> give a quick shout out to <laughs> quick shout out to me for commentating two tournaments in one day. <laughs> I went to the city. That was the thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Con. <laughs> I'm sorry. I right, Revolution's always been a little more of a chill place, so I'm just gonna kick and hang out with you guys. Absolutely um, right. Absolutely good. Yeah. yeah, so I'm trying to make this firm comeback right now against Ricky, and it's looking pretty scary right now. He's it's sitting at uh Ricky's sitting at one two one one twenty one percent. Honestly, one good Ike fair might do it. And that doesn't want to do it yet. One more of those I think will do it though. Yeah, no, Stone always aware about how strong his aerials are. We saw it before, um, even like in his, uh, oh, there we, yeah. Yeah, there on. you go, yeah. Yeah, I don't got to say anything. He's yeah. going to do it for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speaking with his uh, actions right there, Stone um, collecting himself right after that very nice lead Ricky took. Only 31% on him. Yeah, honestly, yeah, good start by Stone right there. You want those nice, I know down tilt to uh, forward air is pretty pretty good for Ike. I don't know if it's true, but it, it works a lot. That forward air disjoint has a lot of range on it. Yeah, and every grab Ricky gets, he just get, takes the punish so far. He's getting so much damage up on Son right now, and Kyle doesn't seem to have any answers. And we gotta realize now too, Son definitely in a definitely oh. a dig down percent. That's, that's it. Gonna do that's it. gonna be right it. Right there, the head yeah. bob. That's gonna do it. Yeah, that's so difficult to navigate around, especially since it's like it, it's such a wide window to get grabbed in. Now, I said before, and I'll say it again. You know, Donkey Kong's a character with flaws, but uh, his strengths are undeniably very large. He, you know? He's got 99 problems, but grabbing and doing up air ain't one of them. I'm so. gonna start, start saying that. <laughs> no, that that's really it though. But that that one <laughs> that one that one thing that is not his problem. That's literally absolutely what he busted. Right? That's like, what he has going for him, honestly. That combo specifically, and against a heavyweight like Ike, it's really gonna be detrimental. Also, I just wanna say I see Ricky with the 599 G Tech. Really? What is just uh, that, that's pretty funny because I know he's playing clouded. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Before. I've heard he's been br embracing his upper tiers and top tiers. However, he's playing. What, what oh are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I do know he has a very good. Why would con. you do this? Are you just Maybe trying to goof around? Oh, now he now he's no, just no, monkeying he's around. Now he's just monkeying around for real. No, this I is will, ridiculous. I will say this much. I will say this much that I um I actually had played against his Diddy Kong before at Florg's house. How is it? In case it? you guys haven't uh, known this, just gonna kind of say this, but you know when Florg has Smash Fest, Fl I like to think of Florg's house as like the Sky's house of uh. LI. It's a tra it's a training ground. You know, it's it's a training ground. You know, a couple setups. A lot of the good players go, but I, I played against this Diddy very proficient. You know, I was using yeah. it before to kind of get an edge on uh, possibly Troy. Shouts to Troy Senpai, but, you know, right now, uh, Jesus Christ. You know, he's, pull he's pulling out that Diddy himself, not Troy's, his own Diddy. I'm going to see what he can do right now. Right now, controlling the space with the banana. We just saw Dill doing this, actually, against Ralphie. Honestly, Ricky's an incredibly methodical player, and using characters such as Diddy Kong, honestly, isn't completely unheard of me. This, this man loves his bananas. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, he's a DK man. I, I said this before, but did you see his Twitter post where he's like, when people call me a slot for meaning DK? <laughs> and it's the picture of the guy in the DK suit Jesus just sitting Christ. there. I actually, I saw that early in the morning and I laughed out loud at like 1 a.m. <laughs> and I definitely woke my parents up. Uh, no, reg no regrets. No regrets. No regrets, dude. Shout out to uh, Mommy and Daddy Epo. You guys, it, you guys are the best. It's a special type of Twitter post, honestly, that can crack you up at like 1 in the morning where you just like, you, la you audibly laugh out loud when you're alone in your room and no one else is around. Yeah, I'm just like, Ricky, this is how we see you. I hope you know. Oh, the oh counter my God, right we, there. He's you know, still living, though. He can make this back if he just doesn't oh get... God, winning. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Someone eruption. trying to catch the two-frame. Usually very proficient at that. Just so missing it, though. loves that two-frame so much. Yeah, the jabs. Very safe options coming out from Stone. He knows that he can't really mess too much with Diddy. Oh, oh no. I would have seen up there. <sighs> okay, yeah. I was expecting him to jump in up there, there, but I feel like that would have been a little risky, given Stone's positioning above him. Okay, that was very smart. Down tilt uh, forward air. He knew that the up smash wouldn't connect. He just went for the guaranteed. 
Yeah, Ricky doing a really great job of right, just keeping Sone out. Sone can't really find any approaches inward as Ricky's just keeping his distance and using the banana to circumvent things. But as I say that, the back air is going to come out and nail that first stock from Ricky. And you know, Ricky, uh, honestly, not overextending too much, but you know, that small overextension, Sone's going to punish that very strongly with the back air. Down throw, interesting. I think up throw to up air works, but not at this percentage, I don't think. Because Ike is sitting at 179%. I honestly don't know why Ricky switched off Donkey Kong. Maybe because he was just trying to have fun. Maybe he's goofing around. But my guy, there's money on the line. Yeah, right. My guy, like, uh, there's, like on, 50, my guy. there's like 50 people here today. Like, you know, it's like, like, yeah, exactly. It's, I, it's big. I would have come out here if the Arcadian wasn't happening today. You know, absolutely. I know a lot of people would have came out here, but you know, yeah. the, they kind of clashed. But you know, uh, this event, nonetheless, very big. But you know, it's also big right now. The, the percent that Ike is holding on to, he's almost at 200. That's a. <laughs> I love how Ralphie and Dill came out because Ralphie and Dill, I think, only came out to this tournament because they they were barred from entering the Arcadian. They can't enter. They Dill's PR'd and Ralphie's gotten fourth and above at C4. Oh my God. So he's barred. He yeah. Could, if he went, he would have had to coach players, which was very nice. I actually got coached by um, Freelancer Leo and Cassius, and they're both very nice guys. Shouts to them. Shouts to Leo and Cassius. Yeah. Leo, the only man to make fun of me in stream chat. <laughs> Shouts to Leo. <laughs> I love Leo. <laughs> Tully's actually hella funny. Anyway, we do got this match going on. No Leos, no Cassiuses. We, however, we uh, do see some grabs coming out. Kind of akin to Bowser, but, you know, uh, we are going to get four airs off those not up airs. Yeah. Yeah, again, still looking very solid on Ricky's part, though. He's just, he's baiting out Sone's approaches and just capitalizing so well on them. And he's using the banana very methodically. That forward air, however, is going to take him right off stage. Yeah, you know, Sone not going for anything fancy there. Just going for the guarantee. Try to get some stage control. He knows that right now he really needs percent. Ricky kind of thinking about his options there. Yeah. I like that, you know, going for the forward throw. Opting for that stage control. Very good banana control from Ricky right now. It's also like a DI mix up, honestly, because if you, typically you're always going to DI for the most expected throw. But when, you know, you hold your opponent, which way are you going to throw him? They don't know where to DI. Back throw off stage, yep. Let's see what happens here. Okay, great. He had to force him into a high recovery situation in fear of getting gimped by that banana. Really clean stuff right now. Yeah, I'm just loving all this pressure. Yeah, yeah. Ricky just kind of trapping like the legend in this very creative way. Oh my god, he bops forward as he throws out that up smash. But it's not going to connect. The back is going to do it, though. Yeah. Very close game, but so in taking that very last hit. Neutral not the proper option there. I think forward air would have worked out a little bit better. I know it's like a mix-up situation, but you've seen Zero time and time again used forward air as a ledge trap option. So why wouldn't you use it there? I don't know. But, you know, I, I just got I just got to say, you know, even though someone did take that uh, that game. That was close. Gotta, gotta oh, say, Ricky's, God. What are you doing? Ricky's Diddy looking very... No, no, no. I swear to God, Ricky's Cloud's really great. <sighs> I know, but I swear Son, to God. Son knows this matchup, I feel like, a yeah, little no, bit. Yeah, no, he usually beats me in mirror. Son, Son is pretty good at this matchup. Honestly. Oh, he is. No, you know, the only cloud he, he really goes, is Ralphie. He's he goes tooth and nail with Ralphie. Like, it's yeah. really close sets, like, all the time. Yeah, and he, he kind of dumpsters me in a moment, to be honest. You know, like, as of recently. Yeah, I mean, out of all the clouds on the island, I, I mean, New York, I'd say Ralphie's honestly, like, the best. I'd say second yes. maybe is, like, Dark Blues. But, like... Dark Blues very strong as well, yeah. It's just, like... Sone is... It, this is a matchup, I feel like, a, long of I, a, long Islander, a lot of Long Islanders are pretty proficient in, at, at least at this level of play. You've got the exceptions, like, Ralphie and Dark Blues, but honestly, like... I don't know, man. LI clouds are, are, are getting beaten lately. You know, absolutely. You know, uh, people said this before, but you know, Cloud a very good character. But you can't, uh, you can't negotiate the fact that you know everyone knows this matchup, like the back of their hand. You know, oh, and right there, Ralphie, <laughs> NY's Cloud coming in, just kind of yeah. with the, uh, the chew dot face, but yeah, you know, just the Ralphie. We're gonna, see, Ralphie him. We're gonna see him later. Right now, we're looking at a different Cloud. We're looking at Ricky's Cloud, and like I said before, Ricky's Cloud's a force. You know, I've also played against Ricky's Cloud uh, pretty extensively at Florida's house. Um, very strong force. Yeah, but Sony's just doing such a great job. He knows what he can do. He can two frame with that, or not two frame, but he can get that ledge really quickly with that down tilt right there, and his. His forward air combos work well on a character like uh, Cloud, who is a fast faller, and he can be juggled due to his weight. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, like uh, Ike is Ike heavy himself. You know, um, so this could definitely be uh, kind of good for Rookie in the case where uh, he wants to juggle stone. He's fine. As long as he doesn't get hit while he's doing like the uprise or something like that, he he won't get knocked out of that up B. Absolutely not. You know, right now Rookie trying to maintain some stage control. Stone hiding his shield. He doesn't want to get back aired. But Ricky, I'm using that conditioning to get himself a grab instead. Very smart. And that forward tilt, not going to do it. The limit on deck. He does have the blue. Yeah, nice job uh, by covering our son. Ooh. God. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, missed punish options on both ends, but Son giving the pivot grab right there. And, ooh, nice early recovery, baiting out the eruption on Son's part. Really smart oh. stuff by Ricky right here. And he's finding himself a stock up. I also just want to say, Ricky, you know, considering he doesn't main this character, you know, I got to say uh, his spacing and movement he used to very play sharp. It. You know, he used to play Cloud a lot more. He used to be a secondary. I remember back in the, the Smashburger days, he was 
Were you around for Smash Burger Days? Um, I've never been to the event, but I do remember that he it, did yeah. have the cloud. Because, um, you know, like, I didn't really get to play against it in tournament, but like I said, I got Smog Sounds, I got some practice against yeah. it in the mirror. Um, like I said, he usually does come out on top. Extremely strong cloud, extremely strong fundamentals. He's just methodical, honestly. Honestly, Ricky is a really cerebral player, and what I'm saying by that is that he thinks a lot about the options he puts up for you. You can give this man most characters, probably, and as long as he knows the basic movement options of them, he, he's really good at just picking up on the habits of other players and abusing them. Absolutely, but you know, if there's someone who's uh, very good at catching patterns, uh, Stone is also one of them. Oh, definitely. But uh, right now, uh, Ricky, you know, he don't need to catch patterns as long as he's getting those guaranteed uh, up airs, you know, bench pressing. Yep. You gotta practice your up airs, dude. You gotta look crisp. Yeah, you gotta, look, gotta, gotta get all those crispy up airs. I think Ricky uh, almost having limit on deck, I wanna say. Yeah, there yep. it is. He does have the blue on deck. Uh, maybe we're gonna see some cross-slash action, maybe even a finishing touch. I don't know exactly how Ike's percents are, but with Rage, up air to finishing touch might actually do this. Oh my god, he's uh, exactly trying what I was tried saying. It, yeah, you got in his head, dude. Get out of my head, Charles. No, he's listening to headphones. I don't think you hear me. Shout out to Ricky, you know, a great mind stick of <laughs> Hello, but. Right there, but covering with the climb hazard, limit break, uh, the fourth limit break move, level two. Shouts to Final Fantasy VII, my favorite <laughs> game of all time. Right now, his movement though coming in really. Crispy. Next big hit seems like it's really going to win this one. If someone gets one up throw conversion, he could potentially take this oh, set. That was a very aggressive up smash. Oh, nice! He gets limit right there, and now he's in an edge guard situation. Excellent blade beam. Good right blade there. beam to cover his landing. It's not going to kill Stone though. I would have honestly probably saved the limit just because. Cloud oh, and the Becca's gonna do it, and Ricky takes the set. Ricky takes the set, and Ricky right there showing that Ducky Kong is not the only character he can play proficiently. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. So not too happy about his performance. I could tell too. Honestly, it's a telltale sign when a player's starting to get in their own.